Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I kind of stretch my curls out and get these waves without using any heat at all and minimal product. I've really been loving wearing my hair like this because I find it's a lot easier for me than doing my entire curly routine. With my curly routine I find I get the best results if I wash my hair the morning of. This way allows me to wash my hair at night and style it very easily in the morning, like less than 30 seconds styling. It's so simple. It's also a nice way to add variety to my hairstyle so I don't have to wear my hair extremely curly every day. but. I'm not sacrificing the integrity of my hair by using heat. Um, before we get started, I would love if you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you are already subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload. And if you would like to see how I get my hair to be wavy without using any heat, just go ahead and keep on watching. So I've just gotten out of the shower a little while ago. After my final rinse, I do not touch my hair at all. That is major key for making this work. You really don't want to be messing around with your hair. So uh, once I rinsed my hair, I just got out of the shower um, and just let it drip. And it's kind of annoying for the first little bit because your hair is like soaking wet. But I find that I get the best results with the least amount of frizz this way. I also like when my hair kind of slicks back like a helmet like this because it kind of forces my top layer to be slightly more straight. And I get those nice loose waves surrounding my face. So while I was in the shower today, I used the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo, as well as the Yes to Carrots Nourishing Conditioner. I don't find that I have to use my Diva Curl products to get really good results, so I save those for days that I'm wearing my full curly hair routine. I also uh, tend to like products that maybe slightly too heavy for my hair when I am doing my regular routine, such as the Shea Moisture products. I feel like they do help with frizz as well as keep my hair more compact and stretch out the curl a little bit. So some of my favorites are the Shea Moisture High Porosity Moisture Seal Mask as well as the matching deep conditioner uh, part of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. This is just a little sample packet that I have but I've gotten about like two uses out of it so far and I probably have another one or two to go in here. So I highly recommend picking these up if your target has these little packs because uh, you don't have to commit to the whole bottle to see if you like it. So um, I will be purchasing the full size of this. Uh, in the future once I finish this up. The Yes to Carrots is a newer purchase for me, but I am really liking it so far. And I also really like the Weedot Advanced Climate Control line, but that is again on the pricier side, so I just wanted to give you guys some uh, less expensive options. I like to let my hair air dry in these kind of thicker clumps. Again, it just kind of reinforces more of a wave as opposed to a curl. This routine is really perfect for any of you who like to shower at night and just be ready to go with your hair in the morning. It's much easier for me than my regular curly routine, so I've really been enjoying this. So I will check back in with you guys in a few hours once my hair is about like 90% dry and we will get on with the rest of the routine. Okay, so it took my hair about two hours to dry and this is it without any product. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I do not put any sort of styling, leave-in product, nothing once I hop out of the shower. And my hair took about like two hours to get to about 90% dryness. It dries so much faster when I don't have any product in it. I find that when I use any sort of styling product, it actually encourages my curl more uh, and I don't get as good of results. If your hair texture varies a little bit from mine, you may find it more beneficial to braid your hair when it is more wet. I find that when I braid my hair when it's wet, it never really fully dries and then once I take it out of the braids in the morning, my natural curl comes back a lot more. But I actually got this idea from one of you guys. You had asked what my hair looks like without any product in it and I actually had no idea because I could not remember the last time that I just let air dry without any product. So that's kind of what led me to this discovery. This technique definitely isn't perfected yet because I would like to maybe try to get it more wavy. Um, so I'm still kind of like tweaking it here and there, but this is what I've been doing for the past, I want to say a few weeks now, and I've really been liking it. So now we're going to braid our hair and this is the style that I'm going to sleep in. I'm going to leave it in overnight. And then in the morning, I will check back in. We'll finish up the routine. We're not actually going to do a traditional braid. It's going to be more of like a twist. So this part that I have now is fine. I don't need it to be totally even or anything. Um, and I'm just going to section it off into 
sections here. Then uh, I'm going to take kind of a larger section and for me I like to use larger sections of hair because the curl or wave is a little bit uh, thicker as opposed to um, finer. So I have this one section of hair here. I'm going to go like I am French or Dutch braiding but I'm only using two strands. So I'm going to separate this into two, fold that over top. Now with this piece under here, I'm going to grab some more hair, fold that over top. Again, so now I have this piece, I'm going to grab some more hair, fold that over top. And I'm going to keep doing this until all of this hair is incorporated. So now all of our hair is incorporated minus the ends. I'm just going to tie this off and do the exact same thing to the other side. So now that I have all this hair incorporated here, I'm actually going to flip this around the back of my head. And we're going to continue this into one braid. So I'm just going to release this hair tie from here. You don't have to keep the four strands that you used earlier. Um, you can kind of just all incorporate them all into one and then split them up into three. I find that to be easiest, otherwise um, my hands just kind of go crazy and I have no idea what I'm braiding because I'm not the best braider. I also used to do two individual braids and I would do the top with the two sections then once I got to like the crown of my head I would split the hair into three but I found having two braids actually created too small of waves but I do like incorporating it into one better because I do get slightly bigger waves that way and I'm going to tie it off with this little cloth hair tie I really like these because they don't leave a dent in my hair what I like to do is just kind of pull the tops just to loosen them up a bit and then I just like to pull out this braid as well. So I sleep on a satin pillowcase which really helps to reduce frizz and friction from when I roll around and sleep at night because I am a crazy sleeper. If you don't have one I would recommend maybe investing in some sort of silk or satin scarf and wrapping that around your hair just to protect it and it will help cut down frizz quite a bit if that is an issue for you. So I'm going to head to bed now. When I wake up, I will show you guys my hair and we will finish off the style. Okay, so it's now the next morning and it's time to take our hair out. And you want to do this kind of gently. You don't want to run your fingers through it too much and separate what we've done. So I do like to put a product in at this point just because it's a little bit poofy. We want to kind of settle it down a bit. And otherwise, if I just leave it like this, my hair will eventually go back to its regular curl. So I really like using this Whey hair jelly mixed with the Diva Curl Set It Free. I take one pump of the Whey and a couple sprays. Mix it together, and I'm not going to rake it through, I'm just going to kind of smooth it over my hair. I don't like using a cream because I feel like it adds a little bit too much moisture and my hair um, will go back to my natural curl pattern a little bit more easily. I still do get that throughout the day, but the great thing about this style is that for like second and third day the wave gets more reinforced because I do put it back in the braid when I sleep and I get more of a true wave 
as the days go on. This way gel is amazing. It's not drying. It doesn't make my hair feel really sticky. It still allows it to be touchable and smooth, but it does give me some nice hold. And then the Diva Curl Set It Free adds some nice shine and some frizz controls. So after you add your product, that's all you have to do. I've really been liking wearing my hair like this lately because again, it's super easy and it wears really well into second, third, and even fourth day hair. All right guys, so that is my super simple wavy hair routine using no heat. I hope you guys enjoyed this, found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a great day, a great week, and I will talk to you next time.